What's going on collectors? This is Parlay J here with you today. And today I am going to share with you, probably in a pretty quick video, two very specific types of card buying. Now, you know on this channel, I talk a lot about card flipping, not only collecting, but flipping and actually making a profit, making some money off cards when you can. And so in my eyes, if you are into the game for flipping and trying to make a little bit of a profit, Maybe you're just balancing it out. You're not only flipping, you're collecting because you love it and you're flipping because you want to finance your hobby or whatever the case may be. There's two different types of card buying tactics that you can deploy. And so I want to share those with you um, just to get you thinking about it a little bit because maybe you do one or both of these or maybe you don't do any and you want to think about picking one up um, if you want to get into the card flipping game. Number one, I call focused buying. What is focus buying? Now focus buying is when you pick one, maybe two or three specific cards and you go after them and you buy them in large quantities in bulk at the right time. Now an example of that, if you watch my channel, you know I am huge on Christian Yellick. Last season at the end of the year I was, and so I was focus buying a lot of Christian Yellick 2013 Tops update rookie cards in a PSA 10. The reason was because the price of Yelix were at a pretty decent low given the caliber player that he is, that he, he is the top, definitely top three in the league, um, depending on who you're talking to and at what point in the season, he may be one or two. That fluctuates between Yelix, Trout, and uh, Acuna at this point. But for example, Christian Yelix, purchasing a lot of those cards. And I mean, if you're in it for the profit, let's take for example, a Christian Yellick card. If you bought it when it was lower, you could have gotten it for about $90, $100. So at that point, if you think the ceiling on Yellick's card is two, three, four, five hundred dollars $500, you go in and you buy not just 10, you might buy 50, you might buy 100 Christian Yellick cards to sit on them to wait until baseball season when prices start to go up so that you can flip them if the price jumps. Now, focus buying is really important. It does a couple things and it also kind of tinkers with the market, which is the one thing that I'm not really a big fan of, um, but it is what it is. I mean, these are valuable items, they're collectibles, and so they're gonna get bought and sold. There's nothing you can do to change it as long as you're not a million and a trillionaire who's like over focus buying and single-handedly shifting the market. Um, which they say Gary Vaynerchuk might be doing that, although I don't know, I, I don't wanna take shots at Gary V. He seems like a really cool guy, um, but he's, he's talking about it. He's talking about how many cards that he's buying at any given time, and he buys them in quantity to flip them. So when you focus buy, that's your main goal. You wanna make profit, so you buy heavy, and you have, to, you have to be very disciplined. You can't buy a Yellick 2013 update PSA 10 and then go and buy some PSA 8s and some 5s and then some Yellick, uh, you know, Bowmans and whatnot. Uh, I mean, you could, but then you're really defeating the purpose. The only thing that I would suggest deviating from slightly is if you were to get variations of that Christian Yellick. So for example, if you get the base Yellicks and you go in hard on that, and then maybe you get a bunch of Walmart blues and maybe a bunch of camos and maybe you get really lucky and you get a black or two, then take those, uh, not camos, excuse me, emeralds, uh, take those and that's your Christian Yellick lot. So when Christian Yellick rookie cards go up, they're all gonna go up at the same time, typically. Um, check out my video on what's going on right now in the market um, in March of 2020 with base cards, tops rookie base cards really spectacularly doing their thing. But that's another story for another time. Um, but most typically, all the variations within that one kind of set um, or card company um, will rise at the same time. Now, if it's a Topps update, you have to get the variants within the update set. You can't go and get Topps Finest. Um, you possibly could get Topps Chrome, but then you're really gonna start to diversify a little too much. And again, defeating the point. So focus buying, focus on making profit, be disciplined and pick one card, stick with it, and if you must, if you see good deals, go for the variations of that one card as well. And the second type of card buying is what I call broadcast buying. 
So it is very different from focus buying. It is not focusing on one player or one card. It is focusing on whatever deals you can see at the given time. Now, you can do a combination of these two. There's nothing stopping you. But if you broadcast buy, you are typically doing something like going to a card show in person, perusing the tables and trying to find the best deals on the best cards that you know are either you know cards that you want for your personal collection or cards that you really think or know will go up in value in the future. And there's no rhyme or reason to it. You might even you know have multiple sports, baseball, football, hockey, cards, whatever. You might be all over the place. The difficult part about that is you might over diversify and unless you're doing it purely to collect and just hold, you will probably lose some of your gains on some of those cards because they're not likely not all going to go up at the same time unless you make some amazing picks and maybe have a great budget. Um, but another way to broadcast buy is going on eBay. And one thing that I do from time to time is when I go on eBay, I actually have a save search for PSA 10 tops rookie. And then I will um, remove, if you type in a minus and then a word, it'll actually do a negative search. So I remove reprint because I don't want reprints. I want just rookies that are tops that are PSA 10. And I sort it by ending soonest so that I can see at any given time, all the tops rookies that are PSA 10 graded that are available to me. And I may just you know have nothing particular in mind and I might just have a great deal come my way and I'll pounce on it. Um, so that's another way of broadcast buying and it's kind of cool. You could do things on eBay like set up alerts. Um, you probably don't want to do it for that search because there's going to be new things added to it all the time. But if you're doing a really specific search, um, let's say on your focus buying for like a Christian Yellick 2011, 2013 Tops Update PSA 10, you could save that search and have it alert you every time a new one is added. So you can make sure you follow it, watch it, the whole nine yards. From a broadcast buying perspective, that's basically the bottom line. It's that you're a little bit all over the place. You're trying to find the best deal possible at any given time. Nothing wrong with that at all, but just know that it's gonna likely cut into your bottom line at some point um, if you do end up selling. So those are my two ways of card buying, broadcast buying and focus buying. Which way is best for you? Which way do you follow? Let me know in the comments, because I'm curious. Let me know if you think there's any other ways of buying. I'm sure there's plenty of them, but those are the top two that I really think are in play here. Thank you guys. Thanks for spending time with me. I hope you got something out of this. As always, this is Parlay J. Take care. Spike your hair. See you next time.